Vyan often has headaches. She went to the hospital for treatment, but doctors found that she has a brain tumor. She could not believe it, but bad luck. It was true. So she cried in the hospital because she has a boyfriend. He and she have high hopes of getting married, but she is in the second stage of brain tumor. It's not known if she will die or if she will live. It depends on her the treatment by the grace of God. She wants to get away from him as soon as possible because she thought she was going to die. She reached the house and knocked on the door. He immediately ran towards the door and opened it. Oh, why aren't we about you? She stared at him for a few seconds without letting him know the pain inside her. She spoke to him casually rather than lovingly as before. I went shopping with my friend. Oh, where are the bags? Aish, I forgot my bags at my friend's home. And what? You are not your husband and wife. And why are you bothering me with so many questions? This is the first time she has spoken harshly to him, but she has to talk like that. His eyes widen with shock that you never talk to him like that. Hey, you okay? No, I'm not okay. I don't want to live in the middle class with you. What? What? Vyan, why are you talking like this? And what happened to you? Can you please tell me? I'm really worried about you right now. Please. Can you stop your over action? Okay, I will come to the point. I want to experience a rich life. And yeah, I don't want a normal life like this with you. So, I have to pack my things and leave. She went to their bedroom. What? No, no. You can't leave me. Why aren't? Please. She went to her room and packed her luggage and put her glass in a bag and she looked at his photo and took it. If I die, you will die for me too. So that's why I will go away from you and I must come for you if I am your good health. Vayan, please don't leave me. Please, baby, I love you so much. Please don't leave me. When he hugged me and I dropped my bag, I had tears in my eyes, but I controlled them. Tehyang, look at me. You need to have a good time with your friends. Without thinking about our relationship. And goodbye. Vyan, baby, please write. He ran towards you, but no use. You already left from there. She didn't know where she was going when she came out of his house, but wanted to stay away from him as much as possible. She cried and left wishing he could be happy in his future. A few days later, the brain tumor stage was slightly increased. She was admitted to the hospital. I hope you are happy without thinking for me, Tahya. Please be safe. How are you? Do I have a chance to live or chance to die? Hey Vyan, you are still in the first stage, so you can cure. Since I am the one who is treating you, so don't worry about that, okay? You also know very well about it. Sometimes I feel like I am going to die because of this headache.
but i wanted to live with him as a wife for the rest of my life if my health improves as you said yeah you are not going to die i will take care of you do you trust me yeah and please do me a favor will you go to his place for me and can you tell me how he is huh yes sure vayan i will do it for you hey wait oh no no she tried to run away from there stop right there you he partially ran and grabbed her hand who are you and why are you taking my photos i am taking your photos because you are too handsome to look at she lied to him without telling him the truth that's it leave my hand don't touch my patience okay and tell me the truth I'm Vyan's friend and doctor also. What? You, you are Vyan's friend? Mm, yes. Where is she? Please tell me. Before I tell you, please calm down. She is in my hospital. What? Is she okay? Oh, will you tell me already? Her health is not good. She suffers with a brain tumor. What? She is suffering with a brain tumor. He broke down in front of her and crying. Why didn't she tell me why? Am I that bad? Why didn't she tell me why for her condition? She already guessed that she would suffer in tears. If you know about it, so she didn't tell you about her situation. She ran away from you, and fearing that she would die someday, she wants you to be happy, not to suffer about her. But I can take care of her and heal her, but it will take a long time. No, she can't die. She is not gonna die. Please, I wanna see her. Come on, let's go. His eyes were already full of tears, and he immediately ran to her and hugged her, and she hugged him back quickly. Sorry, Vayana. I had to tell him, but don't worry, all is well. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I thought I should not see you like this, but no, the same thing has happened. Why didn't you tell me? Do I not deserve to know? It's not like that. I can't see you suffering so. I had to leave you so harshly. But you know it all. No, you are crying, suffering for me. It makes me even more weak. Why, Ann? What am I to you, boyfriend? Then why didn't you tell me your problems are not my problems, huh? But I don't want to suffer you because of me. I don't care. You can always share anything with me. Everything, you know, right? Yes. I'm sorry. Let me see you smile. How? How can I smile that you are in this situation? Thank you. You should always be smiling, even if I die. 
No, don't say like that, please. You won't die. I am here for you. Oh, okay, I won't say anymore. Good. Don't ever say that you understand. Just, you won't leave me. And I won't leave you. Oh Lord, I don't want to die. I just want to marry him. Fulfill my only wish.